Hey, sneaking in back today. Today, as you can see, we're back with Lubuntu 11, 11, or is it 10, 11, 11, 10, 10, 11, 25, 72. Anyway, it's an Auric Ocelot. Yes, that one. And it's the beta one, okay? Now, before we go anywhere, anywhere at all, from the live CD, there are some errors. But once you install it, as I have done here, and download the updates, you'll see lots of things change, and it becomes quite stable. But from the live CD, not too stable at all. I had this with the last one as well, which is 11.04. I had this bit of trouble with the live CD, but as soon as it's installed, no bleeding problem whatsoever, okay? So as you can see, basic LXD open box, simple, nice, fast, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. As you can see, it's the afternoon here. You've got to log off, time, my internet connection, volume. That's all basic Lubuntu stuffy. Here's your main menu kick offer. There we go. And so we get accessories, which you get quite all the usual sort of stuff you should expect, really, from Lubuntu. So archive manager, character map, bloody blah, blah, blah. Games, right. They're all the penguin ones, so they're all the rubbish ones. If you want to have a games, you don't have to go and get them yourself. Okie dokie. Yes. Graphics. There is no GIMP as standard. Now, I was expecting that as standard because it's quite a full CD. See, it's still a CD, not a DVD. But it's not there. But you do get simple scan and document viewer and empty paint. Chromium is your web browser of choice here. So if I just click on there, and we're going to have a little butchers in the butchers. So if I just type in... There we go. And we'll just quickly go over to the site. I made that larger for you so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go, blah, blah, blah. There's quite a few videos on here. By one of our German friends, he's very, very good. What he does, okie dokie, yes, indeedy. So, yeah, it's really easy, nice, and fast. Now, fast, and you're saying, What do you mean, fast? You don't access it every day, and that was fast. Well, this is faster. There's some poor reason it has fewer resources, okay? Doesn't need anything, really, does it, when you think about it? So, where are I? I want to look at a where are we? A task manager. If I click on my task manager, and I'll go up here, my CPU's not doing anything. I'm only using 80 mega of my RAM, okay? Now, that's a lot less, isn't it? So for even older hardware and machines, this is gonna be the baby for you. It seems to play flesh out of the box as well. I didn't get that bit, yeah. yeah it doesn't, doesn't normally, but if it doesn't, you go to the Synaptic Package Manager and then add all the add-ons and the extras. Yes, okie dokie. What else have we got down here? So if we go to the internet, as I said before, got Chrome as your browser. Pigeon is for your messaging. Slyford for mail and transmission, as I said before. Probably the best client out there for a bit of torrenting. Legal ones, of course. Not illegal. You wouldn't want to do anything illegal and get told off now, would you? No. Okay. Office is standard Abbey Word and Numeric. So if I go Abbey Word, and we'll also open up Numeric at the same time to show you what I mean. There you go. Nice and quick, isn't it? I'm recording at the same time here, by the way. So it's super duper. That's all what you want it to do. As I said before, nobody's gone with the new Abbey Word yet, so I'm going to have to do it myself, and I? I'm bloody compiling this. Off. I might do that tonight when I've got a bit of time. So, there your office, baby. You can install LibreOffice if you so wish to do so. So, it's all there for you, okie dokie. Osmo is also there. I like Osmo. I mean, I do. Just like calendar and your tasks and your contacts and your notes. It works really well. It's simple, basic, but it does the job. And that's what we really need, isn't it? So it does the job. Let's turn him off now. I've had enough of him. He was all right to start with, but I've gone off him now. Okay, in sound and video, we get audacious for your music. Gnome M player for your Gnome M player and stuff for videos. If I was you, I'll just install a VLC here. Yeah, I would, yeah. I just would do. For your webcam stuff, it's GUVC view. Very, very good indeedy, but no effects. I like the effects. Then XF burn for your burning. So, yeah, what do you think of that? I think it's all right, don't you? Yeah, yeah, no, it's all right. You get all your user stuff. It works really quick. And then once it is installed, it's nice and easy to use, okay? And as I just said before, I would personally not use m -Player. I just, we have a long history of not liking each other. We'll just say that. If I reload my packages, just to make sure, and we'll quickly see if you can install VLC without any problemo. Which should be okay, really, shouldn't it? When you think about it, here comes me now. Come on, have it. Getting bored now, getting bored now, getting bored now. I should have done that earlier before I actually done the video, really, shouldn't I? Yes, you should. Uh, but I'll remember that next time, won't I? Once it's finished downloading all my stuff. Are you going to do it now? Are you going to do it now? 
Hey, he's gonna do it now. So I wait for it to reload, just a second, it won't take long. And there we go. I wanna search and I'm just gonna type in VLC just to make sure actually Synaptic actually works. You know, I would really prefer if it did work, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, VLC. I'm not seeing it. Why am I not seeing it? Let's scroll down and find it. Ah, there we go. VLC. Right, let's quickly mark that for installation. Mark again. Apply. <clears throat> Excuse me, bit of a coffee cough. It wants 27 mega stuff. Right, internet connection is reasonably fast at the moment, so I'm just going to click apply. And let it go down and download some dirty down down stuff for us to do. Okay, yes indeedy. While it's doing that, we'll open up the other desktop and see what else is there. Which is basically nothing else. It's a really stripped back system, as you know, if you've ever used Ubuntu before. But it's really configurable. No, it really, really, really is. I mean, like if I go here... Right click and go to my desktop preferences. And where am I? Where am I? That's not what I wanted to see, really, was it? No, it wasn't what I wanted to see. That's the wrong one. Where's I, why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know why did you, why did you do that? I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Where are we? Da, 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 da. Okay, desktop session settings, customized look and feel. That's what I was looking for. Thank you very much. Come again. This is the Lubuntu default, which is rather nice, isn't it? But you also, there's plenty and plenty of other things and themes to do with this, like Tropic Bomb. That's quite a nice one. And Weightless Industry. Now, I rather like that, personally. Okay, personally. So, I'm going to have that. Guys, I just like that. I just do things, like, off the cuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm back to another window. Yes, we are. Oh, it's almost done. Look at that. So, we've done two things with one stone there, didn't we? That was really nice and easy. Should be done in about now. Okay. So we'll close, wait for it to reload, just one more time, one more time. We'll close them down. Now, in theory, if we go to our sound and video, here it is, VLC is here, okay? VLC, as you know, will play everything. Uh, obviously, if you want a different music player, get it yourself, do what you want. Lubuntu, a lot better than last time, awful lot better. I don't know what they've done, but they've done something right. Because I, I went off it for the last release. This one looks like it's on track the same as, as Ubuntu. So I think October, November time, we're all going to be really happy chappies when we're all down there getting them downloaded and stuff like that. Yes, indeedy. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.